RV. I wanted one small that fits in a um, that fits in the parking spot, so I don't have to worry about parking. This is a 19 foot Thor. The dash is like outdated. I'm used to a digital dash where you can see the temperature and all that stuff. And you see how old and uh, what's well, not digital, but what's the other word for it? But anyway, so this is the the rear view is in the mirror. I like that. You got light. Nothing is on right now, but you have light. I can't wait till it's springtime so I can, you know, enjoy. Okay. I just turned the lights on right there. There's a screen, screen door right there. Okay. There's plenty of storage here for drinks. And the, uh, I used to have my phone attached up, up here in my other car, but this one, that little gripper thing is different. So I got to figure out, I put it up there, but I know if we was to stop real hard, the traffic would knock it down. So I got to figure out how to do that. I got a TV and this is some more stuff I had been buying. Um, this is a pillowcase. This this one is okay. This is a pillowcase I bought. It's um 40, 50 degrees. This was another one I bought. This one is zero degrees. So this one goes to freezing. Yeah. What is that? So and it's a very good quality. Okay, I got a sink. Got water. I can put my extra water up there. Got bags up there. This is a gas um, stove. You have to light it with a lighter. That's my tanks. I'm still learning all this stuff. And I decided not to put water. I had him run all the water out of the of here because it's like 30 degrees and it's, it'll freeze, it'll break. So I'm gonna wait till the springtime till it gets warm to put, put water in here. So if I need water, I'm just gonna bring water in here. And I brought a, a little water thing. But I'm not staying on here right now. I'm waiting till I travel. I did go pick my nephews up last night and we had fun in here. We ate, well, basically we just ate, ate dinner here and rode around town. I bought my hose for the sewage. That's another thing I'm not gonna be reusing right away because I don't want to be doing that. And I got a surge, a surge protector. You gotta figure it. and then they they gave me a free book. It's hold on. It tells you all the free camping spots. But I'm not a really a big camper. I like to do events in town. So and then I'm gonna show you my bathroom. So I put my this stuff came out of my trunk in my car. I put my um umbrellas in here. And then like I said I'm not gonna be using the toilet because it could freeze and mess something up. So I'm just using the uh a portable pot right now. You can take the bag out. Um yeah, this is a refrigerator. I put some junk in there and some water. And that's my little closet. I gotta figure out where everything's gonna go. Because I I wanted, I really wanted to warm the bed in the back, but that was 25 feet. It did not come in 19 feet. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, this table can drop down into a bed. And then the, there's a bed up there. So I probably do that bed up there once or twice, 
but I'm like 48 years old. So, well, I'll be 48 February 23rd of my birthday. Today is February the 5th, I think, or 6th. But this is my birthday present to me. And, yeah, I won't be able to keep jumping up and down because I have to pee at night and all that stuff. So, I'm going to... I was thinking about buying a rollaway, but a rollaway won't fit in here. So, that's out. So, I might just buy a cushion. I don't know how much cushion this is i just gotta try it out and then go from there because i already bought too much stuff and it looks like it's not even gonna fit in here let me show you um well i already had that but this is my fingers it's like 30 it's my fingers are cold and dry y'all okay so this is more for an RV to me. This is really nice. Yeah, it's nice, but it don't go in your home. So it goes in an RV, I think. I think. Look at that. That's my little set right there. I love this stuff. Okay, this one. Isn't that pretty? I bought this uh, either last year or months ago. So I bought it a while back. I just had it. You know how you just buy stuff and you just save it for when you're going to finally do what you want, been wanting to do? I had already put some tissue paper towels up there. Haven't taken this letter down yet. Um, I had a, a fan. Hand sanitizer tire stuff but anyway I'm gonna walk outside this is the screen door I've been wanting a screen door and storage. Got antifreeze Ooh. and the cable that starts it up. Okay. The um. The propane is only 10 gallons. So I know I'll, when, I, if, when I do start doing propane, I'm gonna have to do a lot of it because I thought they would at least do a 20, but it's only, it's only 10. And then what I learned about the generator, there's a battery under here. There's a battery under here and a generator. The generator goes off the gas that goes in here. I thought you had to do like the gas separately, but you don't. You don't have to do the gas separately. And you activate the generator from the inside. My new toy guy. Oh yeah. And the bathroom has a shower and a medicine cabinet. That's cool. A water filter, um, an outdoor grill, and the lawn chairs. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get all this stuff in the in the RV. Yeah. So when I went to Sea World, it was so hot. I had to go to the, I, I did an hour, I think, or an hour and a half, and it got so hot that I had to go um, to the car and cool off, and then I was like, I'm going to go back, but then it was hot in the car, so I couldn't go back. I had to go back to my room and go back the next day, so I was like, man, I wish I had an RV so I could... Um, take a nap when I went to um paddle in New Jersey I wish I had an RV when I went to Washington DC I was wishing I had an RV I mean when I got tired I had to just stop 
and rest in my car. And I was like, man, I wish I had a bed to stretch, to stretch out on. Same thing with Naples, Florida, Bush Gardens. I had to go. Um, I walk. You walk around you before you get tired, and you have to go take a load off. And then that was New Year's. That was I Fly Atlanta. I Fly Atlanta was one like it was down the road from where I was staying at, so I could like when I finished it, I was able to go back to my room or whatever. But um. Yeah, in some cases, you can't even get a room close to where you want to be at. Like, a lot of people want to be down, I mean, in the woods. I want to be downtown so I can do an event, go take a break. If, you know, this, I enjoyed this. It was hot that day. So, when I went to Vegas, it was in October, it was 117 degrees. It was so miserable. So, I needed a way to cool off, go rinse myself off, you know take a shower, so, and then a lot of places I went, I had to use, I felt like I had to use the bathroom so bad, it was not a bathroom anywhere around, and what else I felt like, oh yeah, and I went, even Atlanta was only like two hours away, and Daytona, oh yeah, you can pull up, you can pull on the beach in Daytona, like your RV, your trucks, and you can just sit there in the breeze, so I was like, I wish I had an RV. I could just open my little screen door and enjoy the breeze. So. Yeah. So this was my New Year's resolution. To stay healthy. Be a future billionaire. Get an RV. Take a nice trip. Go see some waterfalls. This is my 2021 vision board. Hey, queen. And I'm scrolling down to my 2020 vision board where I had the RV flying and paid in full. Now, we couldn't fly because of COVID, so I was able to pay off all my bills and get my credit really good so I can get an RV. And the paid in full, I did see that. So the manifestation thing does work, guys. I'm happy with my manifestation. Okay, it's a quick overview of some of the places I've been. That's on my Facebook page. That was Chattanooga. That was on a boat ride. Disney World. Boat ride again. I see where all. Okay, that was St. Louis and F. That was Gatlinburg. That was St. Louis and uh, that was a uh, falls. That was not. That was Miami. That was Illinois. Ruby Falls and Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's in Nashville, Tennessee. Disney. Universal Studios. A paddle boat ride. Chicago. Atlanta. DC. T Tampa. Clarksville, Tennessee. Nashville. Nashville, D.C., Nashville, okay, yeah, so basically, that was Memphis, so I've been morning an RV, and I finally got one, okay, so basically it's 64000 but it is, um, you have to pay like four thousand tax because it's seven percent tax, so it was seventy four thousand with tax. So basically, I traded my car in, and they gave me ten thousand. So I still owe the sixty four thousand. So, um, I just look at it like if you was to buy a truck by itself, it'd be like thirty to forty thousand, and then you have an extra twenty thousand for a sleeper, a shower, and convenience of a. Um, 
this thing. So my nephew used to say to me a long time ago, I used to ask him, I used to say, what kind of car you want? And he said, a limo. So I guess this is like my limo. <laughs> They're trying to give you enough information so you can make a decision if you want to get one or not. Now, they had one in Anniston that was 64000 I called her. She said it was sold out. And then they had one in uh, Arkansas around 64000 But initially, they tried to charge me 68000 But I told them, I said, look, I just found some that was cheaper. So he came down like 2000 on the price. So shop around and I don't know why people try to hide all the information from you or whatever but like I think it seems like it's cheaper down south this is a 2021 19 foot uh cm and I like because you can park in a parking spot and the longer ones you have to um you know find special parking for it when I stayed at the Marriott it was $200 a night. When I went to Vegas and had the um, the timeshare rooms, I had the rooms for like three nights and then I had to leave and I, I wasn't ready to leave. So I wish I had an RV then. And then another case, oh, when I was in Tampa and I was staying on base, but when I drove out to Clearwater, which was an hour away, I wish I had an RV because I was like, man, I'm so far. Because I, I went to on base because it was only $70 to stay on base. It only cost $70 to stay on base. And that was the cheapest. Everybody else was, you know, like the regular $130, uh, $150. And I was like, okay, if I stay, if I do um, $70, I can stay um, double the time. And so I did like a week out there. And then I drove to um Miami you know so most and then when I went to Gatlinburg there I tried to get a room at uh Dolly Parton because I went to her little uh theme park I tried to get a room it was $200 a night and then they was like we don't have any rooms available so I had to leave the area go get a room and it was booked that weekend which I had no idea they had an event going on they had a car show so I paid four hundred dollars for the weekend and I'm like, I need to just give me an RV and pay five hundred dollars for the month and stay longer. So you know, you go to these places, they be cutting your trip down because they trying to get your money. You just have your little house on wheels, pay for the gas and stay as long as you want. And like I say, they got some places you can hook up for free. The only thing you need to do is pay for your gas and pay for your food. And so when I get tired of being on the road, I can just come home and get in my king size bed. It is a, what you call those, memory foam. It's really soft and comfortable. But sometimes I just get tired of being at home and I want to leave. So, but when I come back, I'll be like, glad I left. You know, just give me something else to do besides being at home. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm ready to start back traveling get on the road, get out of this room. Sometimes I go in the living room. And last night we went downstairs and played pool. But it's like, I'm ready to travel somewhere. I really want to fly to uh, Hawaii, but they still got like a two week um, quarantine thing. I definitely don't want to do that. And I also plan on um, Hooking up with other RVers so we can have like um, destination destination events. That would be nice for um, the spring when it comes up. And I saw online a lot of people start going to um, Arizona in the winter months. I want to start. I want to try that one. I mean, this year. I think I'm going to try that this year. Go to Arizona when it start getting cold, cold next November. Just like be on the road for a little while and see what it's like to to not have to worry about 
find a place to stay. And if I do decide to get a room outside of the RV, it'll be an, my option. You know what I'm saying? Because I got this Hilton card and I'm definitely going to be using my um that option. Yeah, looking back, I can remember how hot, how tired I was. But I wanted to be out having fun. And every time I would come home, I would have to sleep for a week just to get over the trip. You know, because it had did... It does damage. Like, you're trying to have fun, but it's more exhausting trying to see everything and do everything and go everywhere. And uh, I know one time I was sleeping in the room and I was mad at myself because I was like, I did not come on vacation to sleep, <laughs> you know. So now you could like, sleep a day and have fun a day and not feel guilty. So I know it's going to be a better experience and I can do more and... I can't wait to start doing it. Just looking at all these um, trips, I feel like I had to cut short because I didn't have my RV. And it's very expensive. You think $500 for the weekend and you're trying to stay two weeks, that's 1000 plus your food. So now if I spend 1000 I'll probably won't move that truck for about a week. <laughs>